Hey everyone, welcome back to another comic book video, and we're going to continue on our journey of I Am Not Starfire. So a lot of people have already seen the trailer for I Am Not Starfire, and since DC Comics decided to turn off the comments of that video, let's see what people have to say about the book and the trailer. So on Twitter, we're going to see what is going on. See, see what's going on and such so we'll just go we'll randomize it we'll go through different types of opinions because I don't want it to just be oh I am not Starfire socks blah 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 we're gonna also view other people's opinions on it because I feel like that does give everyone a chance to like share their opinion and shit and I always like giving a fair chance to both sides I don't always like doing one side because it, it feels unreal like it if I pick every single one that says, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, we're not going to be able to get an understanding, you know? Let's see what everyone has to say about it. So, we're going to go with this one first. Let's see this giant thread. Okay, a few. Uh, the thing about I Am Not Starfire is, like, is I like Tamaki's work. I think it's really strong. Unfortunately, as far as the concept being presented, I'm sensing there will be a mischaracterization of Corey through not only the writing, which hopefully I'm wrong about, but how in how the characters are depicted. Corey and her daughter shouldn't be depicted as white or permoxal to white. I imagine Mandy might be mixed race given the creators of the book, and that's just what makes me think that it's heading towards a miss since that the fact of how illustrative illustrative of how DC editorial stuff et editorial itself lost the plot of Starfire's daughter ages ago. Anyways, I'm still sad over this. So, yeah, I'm not saying, like, Starfire is white. She's a fucking alien. She's not white. She's not black. She's not, like... I mean, the best I can probably say is, um, if you want someone to look like Starfire, you're gonna have to get a lot of orange skin coloring dye stuff paint. But I'm sure a lot of people would complain about that because, oh my god, she looks too much like Donald Trump. That's the only thing I'm getting. Oh, Mecha Random 42 released a video. I'm not gonna check that out. I'm I'm reading everybody else's opinions, not people who are not part of the um, like YouTube and shit. So uh, let's see. LOL. I am not Starfire is getting downloaded into oblivion. Glad to see the book, the comic book industry, and DC properties are in good, capable hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's randomize it. Ah. Uh... Oh, let's see, um, I don't love how Starfire has the speech pattern she uses in the cartoons, that's not my Starfire, but look, she's such an enthusiastic mom, and I am truly obsessed with her bathrobe. I mean, I gotta be honest, I will agree with that, I will agree with that, because that does look very stylish. I, I just, can anyone send me a link of where that, like, if anyone can find a bathrobe similar? Uh, I'm just curious. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> but this does look pretty... Oh. oh. Whoa? What? Well, we got to take a closer look at this. Um. Okay, um. Let's make it easier to view by using this because this will help me read because I am fucking blind as a bat. Okay. I am ready to discuss your future ed education plan with you. Okay, I ordered the Chinese. For the future, I don't- look, uh, what? I'm so confused, guys. So, she ha- is that laundry or is that, like, extra food? No wonder she's fucking fat. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of people are, like, people are bullying her over her weight. Yeah, I get it. I can make fun of it because I'm fat myself. Is it a good thing? No, it's not. I'm fucking, like, I'm in a fucking bad place right now, and right now I'm trying to lose the weight. Like, why is it that we always have to be like, oh, well, when it comes to these people, that we should respect them being over, like, overweight or show people being obese? And that's not okay, guys. That is not okay. I don't care what you fucking do. Just don't make it seem like a good thing. We want to strive to be better. And I'm not saying she has to be supermodel, gorgeous, skinny like Starfire. But what I'm saying is that you don't want them to be too overweight to the point where it has health issues. 
I can I can talk from experience because it's a very bad thing to be at. I mean, I don't have any problems, but I have gotten lots of complaints from doctors about my weight. So I am I going to trust this book or doctors? I'm going to trust the fucking doctors, okay? Okay. Okay, um Wait, I was going down. <laughs> okay, um let's see. Oh, what's this? Lone Lone Stars. I am not Starfire by Mary Kotamaki. Illustration by Yoshi Yoshitini from DC Comics is a top pick. Lone Stars. Lone Stars. I wonder what they do. What exactly can you do? The top the top books chosen by Canadian library staff. Well, that kind of ruined it for me. Never mind, guys. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I'm not making fun of Canadians. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the way I do, com like, comedy. I go like, well, that makes sense. They created Justin Bieber, so it must be really bad to be a judge of that. Okay, never mind. But, like, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, um. Well, wow, comments turned on. Unlike for I Am Not Starfire, insert co cowards. What? What? Oh, wow, comments are turned on for this one. Unlike for your I Am Not Starfire self-insert cowards. Uh, well, I guess they're trying to push out this bullcrap. I'm still, I'm, I'm still surprised. Like, it, it's so weird. It's like one of the only videos from what I've heard from my friend. Like, we were doing this research on it, and they basically pointed out that this, like, the book was the like the book trailer was the only thing that had its comments off on everything so that's kind of surprising because everything else was fine and dandy but this one this one it was quiet okay so um wow it is so sexist flesh fat phobic to say that mandy and i am not starfire is tamaki self-insert when your shallow criticisms and complaints are being echoed by comic gate types that should indicate to you that you really need to rethink your judgments okay first of all let me just talk about this the reason why i bring in weight is because it is not healthy to be at that size i am sorry i don't care who the hell you are if you think eating 12 big macs or some shit or whoppers whatever and you're looking like that and you're telling me it's okay no it is not okay it is not okay it is so not okay Yes, it's very bad to say, oh, well, look, she's fat. This is a fucking character. This is a fucking character. Am I going around and saying Tamaki, like, Mariko Tamaki is fucking ugly and fat? No! That is bad. I don't bully those people. I I do criticize their work, but I'm not going to go like, yeah, Mariko Tamaki is like this and that. Blah, blah, blah. She's super ugly. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't do that because I respect people and I don't want to be like, well... <laughs> It makes sense as to why she looks this way because of the writer looking like this. I, I don't care. I don't care. You you make your own choices, but don't tell people how they should um like be fat or accept that being fat is okay. I mean, it's okay to an extent to be a little overweight, but once you get into the obese area, there it is a problem that is going around in our country that nobody, not a lot of people talk about because nobody wants to offend those people. Even though a majority of the time, it's just like, you gotta talk about it. Because a lot of people don't understand what is going on with people gaining more weight, becoming obese, having more health problems. And you're saying, oh, it's fine. It's fine that she's fat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I gotta step in and say it fucking bullshit. You shouldn't say it's okay to do. Because you don't want the next generation to get more and more fat. They're going to have more health issues. They're going to have a hard time walking. There's going to be a lot of, like, problems in the future. Like, go watch my 600-pound life. I mean, I I know some of those things are, like, overly done, but you got to admit, that much weight on someone is very unhealthy. Okay, um... Okay. Let's see. I am not Starfire. Ultimately... I feel is going to fail for one major reason. Raven is a character already, and her dynamic with Starfire already mirrors and contrasts her, making this GN one of the most redundant projects DC has ever done. They have they have that realistic Batman book. 
Yeah, it, why not just make it about Raven and Starfire's relationship? Like, having a problem with um, dealing with being friends with someone who's more popular than you, but they're still friends with you because they think you're awesome. Like, why couldn't we have that instead of Mandy? Like, being, I dropped out at SATs. I I don't have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I, I, I'm gonna go get some, like, lots of Big Macs and shit. Like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so let's continue. <laughs> Wait. I know Twitter is an extremely small pool that tends towards extremes when it comes to opinions, but like it's really funny when the new trend for comics is one that offended absolutely everyone with their conception. I am not Starfire made it further than New Warriors did, though. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, um, randomize it. Right. We're gonna randomize it. That is in another language. I don't understand it. If you're still mad about I am not Starfire, please go take a shower and consider your standards. What? Oh, is it because of that whole basement dweller thing? They don't bathe a lot and they, they, they just start smelly and shit. Okay, okay. How about you just be more open to opinions? I'm open to more new opinions. Whenever I get people saying, well, you're wrong or when you're this or that I just go like okay I accept that and I hope you have a nice day I don't go off and be like oh well you're a fucking asshole and you deserve to, you deserve to die or you deserve to have a, like a very bad hot shower or I mean occasionally I'll be like okay you're you're pretty stupid I hope you have a hot like very bad burrito that makes you sit on the toilet for hours that's as far as I go because sitting on the toilet for many hours is like the worst thing ever <laughs> okay so let us continue. Okay, um, maybe we'll do top. We'll do top. Come on, come on, give me some new tweets. Okay. Oh, wow. Really fun trailer I got to assist on for I Am Not Starfire. Oh, I, oh sorry to hear. So it's, I really hope a lot of people aren't going to harass him. I mean, he just assisted on it. So, like, I really hope nobody's sending him DMs saying that he needs to die or anything or needs a reality check because he just helped with it. Like, it's a job. It, you're supposed to do that. So, hopefully none of you guys are doing that. And, I mean, the animation in it was pretty fine. I just really didn't like how the idea in general, you know? Okay, so... Ugh. Kind of screaming at DC turning the re replies off on that I am not Starfire trailer because they knew. Note the disabled comments. I am not Starfire. I am not like the other girls. Yes, we exist. I am not Starfire is mind-boggling because Tamaki's work on Crush and Lobo, Breaking Glass, and even Detective Comics is like, good. Even her work on T X-23, while I didn't like it, did what it was trying to do, I think. I mean, that is a good thing to go into, and I know that some people are fans of Mariko Tamaki's work, and I try my best not to be like, all of her work sucks, because she does attempt to do well when it's like big titles like like detective comics I mean honestly I would disagree with the breaking glass thing but at least that was a little presented better in like plot wise than what this is gonna happen with uh, uh, that was hard to say I almost puked a little <laughs> okay um let's see um stopping that I am not starfire comic is going to have Corey so out of character I can already tell guys Oh. Let's see. What I find interesting about the deluge of hatred and scorn towards I Am Not Starfire is that it's coming entirely or almost entirely from people who are not the target audience of that graphic novel, but who seem to believe that it should be written and drawn to, pe drawn to appeal to them. Um, I can kind of understand that. These are books aimed at teenagers, kids, tweens. I, I get it. I do. But... I think the problem is, it's not that the character is a bad, like, 
not aimed at them, but I think they're just trying to think about, well, maybe the kids don't want to be inspired by someone who's fat. Kids are cruel, especially mean girls. Like, mean girls are very, like, girls in general are fucking really mean. They will make fun of people over their weight all the time. I kind of learned to live with it because it doesn't really... Oh, that makes sense. Lesbian Jubilee. That makes sense. I'm not going to say anything else about that because I want to focus on their opinion right now. Or her opinion right now. You comic gate guys being like, she's so ugly and this story is stupid. We don't want this. And you have the Starfire fans being like, we don't want to see Starfire as a single mom. We want to see her married to Nightwing. And it's like, none of you got people are the target audience. Okay, I understand. This is aimed at teenagers. Like... And especially with um, people who have actually watched the cartoon. They do want to see Starfire married to, like, Robin. They want to see well, see Starfire married to Dick Grayson, I mean. And they like that. They're like, what's wrong with that? that? What's wrong with that is the question. Like, like, I know a lot of times we do need some representation with single parents because that's very important. And I feel like it, it does lack in a lot of cases. But I don't want to be like dissing the fans and being like, well, a relationship with, with them wouldn't work. I mean, as much as I do kind of dislike Starfire with Dick Grayson, there, I said it. A lot of people are going to come at me in the comments and be like, oh my god, you're a crit! You're a hater! And uh, all I gotta say is that it's nothing against like, Starfire. It's just that I kind of liked Barbara Gordon a little more. No offense, no offense. It's just a personal thing. Like, Starfire was pretty interesting from the comics I've read. I just feel like they're like Dick Grayson just uses her because she's like a neat booty call, you know? It, it, that's the opinion I got right now. That's it's my view on things. And just because Kingdom Come happened and they had a daughter and stuff, it I mean, it didn't really help me too much because during that time there was a lot of other shit that went on, <laughs> like you know, Night Star getting with. <laughs> Damien Wayne, but who cares? Who cares about that right now? Let's focus on what this person's saying. It's a YA novel. It's targeted at teens, specifically teens who aren't already devoted comic fans. It's DC's, DC's attempt to reach the audience of teen readers who like comics, but don't necessarily like monthly superhero superhero flair, fair. This book is made to appeal to them, not you. I understand that. Like, I do understand that. I understand that it, like these books generally have to aim at teenagers who are, who need to like relate to someone. I do understand that, but sometimes it does come off as cringe and it doesn't really work out that well. And I feel like a lot of the times they try to make rip, like rip off stories based off of Twilight and some other bullshit books like that. And I understand a lot of people do actually enjoy some of these romance like teen books. Fine. I'm not going to attack them and say you guys are fucking moronic, you guys are stupid. I mean, I already said people who liked the Starfire like, the I Am Not Starfire book is... Yeah, I, you guys will watch that. I know you will. And, uh So, let's see. These readers probably only know Starfire from the cartoons and possibly Titans. But I feel like Titans is directed more towards comic book fans. So, I don't know. So, it makes sense that Starfire's design and characterization in the graphic novel takes heavily from the Starfire of the cartoons. This also explains, it, but don't ex doesn't excuse, the whitewashing of Starfire that pers persists in this book. Do, do you even know what Starfire looks like? Do I? Oh, wait. That's weird. See, like, they didn't exactly change her fucking skin color. I mean, it did become more saturated over time, and it looks more alien-like. It doesn't necessarily mean she's fucking black. So, guys, just remember, like, it doesn't necessarily mean she's black. Just because she t takes human form but has an orange skin color, it doesn't mean she's black. Guys, just look at the Titans. That is, that is the worst thing you can do. That was the worst choice ever. It's why I don't watch the show. So yeah. 
I don't agree with this decision, but I understand where it comes from. But I keep seeing Starfire fans in particular wondering why is it an OC daughter instead of, instead of Mary? Why isn't it Corey with Dick? And like the answer is that is that for t this particular project, DC is trying to draw in new readers, not cater to existing ones. Uh, normally a lot of people won't look into YA novels unless they're like, you know, kids of DC comic fans or people who have watched the cartoons and they'll eventually get into it. But there are so many elements wrong with like, I am not Starfire with like connected to the cartoon. You would expect that maybe Starfire did sleep with Robin and had Mandy in result to that. But it, <sighs> I know this is an alternate universe. I do. I understand. <sighs> so let's see. And obviously it's not for adults who make YouTube videos about why social justice warriors are ruining comics, but you already knew that. Oh no, I'm offended. Lesbian Jubilee told me I was not, this was not aimed at me. So every book I've read so far was not made for me. It's, it's made for kids, teenagers who, okay guys, I guess we can't read in it. I guess after we become 18 and shit, we cannot read or reread the books. From our childhood. Okay, Jubilee, you win. You, ju you won. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't really give a shit. But yeah, I'm like... I'm not gonna say anything bad because, again, everyone has their opinion. Oh, look. Look at my video. You guys can check it out. I'll post the link down below. You know, just go ahead. Go over there. Give it a like. Give me a comment. It would mean a, mu a lot. So, yeah. Let's see. Um... Why did the comics have to remind me of the I Am Not Starfire book? It's achieved a new level of cringe. Oh yeah, because there was that one book. Uh, I think a couple of books have the I Am Not Starfire ad in it. So if it's not for like, um, kids, then why the hell is it, like, why the hell is it in a, like, comic book? Like, I know this is for every new comic they release, but why is a YA novel comic have, like, have an ad in a normal adult comic? comic. I don't know. <sighs> okay, um... Okay, so let's see more of this. Um, well, we'll do another one right now. Okay, looking at the reviews and blurb and art, this has so many issues, but I'm sick of dude bros saying that it's her... It's that her daughter is plus size and queer. The issue in my eyes are... Okay, but l let me just, like, interrupt for a minute. Guys, like, I do not, like, um... It, like, the thing is, it's just that they're putting everything together into one little project. And I feel like that's a lot. It, it's just my opinion. Like, I do... Like, I don't mind plus size characters as long as you have them be reasonably positive. If they're a big pile of depressing crap, then you got some issues there. There are some exceptions to this rule depending on how you portray them. There's a lot of like mean people, but they do have their reasons for doing it and then they become likable. But with this character, it just you can tell what what's to come from just from their like stance, okay? And queer, I don't mind anyone who's like a lesbian. I don't mind that. Like it's like, it's interesting that they're trying to be diverse, but the problem, again, let me just say, it's just, it's more, the t it, there's more to it than just that. It's the way that the story is written. It's the way the, the person that they picked, because with the past works of Mary Kotamaki, now it's a 50-50 chance that it could be good, it could not be good. So yeah, there, there's those. So let's see. It paints Starfire in a bad light where it's out of character. Starfire is understanding, kind, and good with communication. This just drags her into the dirt. It's not Corey. Most people I've seen on Twitter who are talking about this book have the right reasons. I'm more so talking about the comic dude bros on YouTube, LML. I mean, I guess that doesn't count for me because I'm a woman. I'm sure plenty of people will come after me for that comment. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling and I know... No one asked, but like, stop pretending, it, pretending it's a woke social justice culture thing. But that, and that the issue is that she's plus size and queer. Corey could have easily have a daughter who's both of those things. And you guys are missing the point. Yeah, she does bring in a point. She does bring in a point, guys. I mean, they could still portray this in a book. 
but they have to do it in a correct manner where it doesn't come off as cringe from the cover and from what we've already read about like Mandy so far she just comes off as kind of a bitch I am sorry to say she does come off as kind of a bitch not the kind of the bitch you would want to bang unfortunately not it's not because of her weight if she was more like positive and relatable in those topics then yeah fine but it's just ugh. I'll just continue reading also, I've already seen two redraws where they're like, okay, here's my take, and it's just that the daughter is skinny. That didn't fix anything. It's just you're a fat phobic, and you don't actually care about the actual issue with the book. Five. It's just so unnecessar unnecessary to have Starfire involved. Just write the story and leave her out of this. I, I honestly don't see the point or appeal. I'm, making I'm sure it's a solid story on its own, but Corey's inclusion makes zero sense. Oh, wow. Th this is... This is so really outnumbered right now, out of order, but I'm trying my best to read this as much as I can. Three, her daughter is white as white can be for some reason despite the fact that Starfire is not right. Even though she had a daughter with Dick, she had dark hair and had olive flesh tinted slightly tan skin and green eyes like Cory. So she actually looked mixed, unlike this freckled redhead. Like, don't get me wrong, by itself, Mandy's design is cute, but it does just doesn't make sense that she's Cory's Corey, daughter. It's a self-insert, lol. This is nitpicky, but design-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense for a kid who's half Tamarind to be that short to me. I don't know. Someone, please, tell me she's adopted. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'll read another one just because I want to. Oh, is there more new tweets? I am not Starfire, lol. You guys wonder why DC is dying? Rubbish. Go back to hire talent instead of hiring unworthy people for diversity bullshit. If the person has no talent for comics, kick them out, period. The person who came up with this Starfire bullshit should retire. Uh, I mean, I'm 50-50 about this. A lot of people will probably get on my ass and be like, oh my god, why are you saying that? Let, let me just explain. Mary Kotamaki has written a like Thor and Loki book that was pretty good. Then there was like the detective comics that was pretty good, but the reason why they were good was probably because the editors in charge of that like particular projects wanted to make sure that it went fine to be sold because with those important like with those popular characters they don't want fuck ups, and with books like this it just makes fun of them like it kind of pushes Starfire into this bad light and it just doesn't make any sense. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Wait, let's see if there's any late stuff any like latest stuff is there anything good oh yeah oh my god OMF I are getting rude strangers in our mentions just for criticizing people's reactions to IMF Starfire can't imagine what kind of harassment and, and Rachel Tamaki and Yushitani must be receiving <sighs> I mean, it is a consequence, but I don't support bullying. Like, I don't support that shit. I will criticize people's work based off of their writing or artwork. If it looks awful, I will say it, but I won't be like, go after these people because I said so. That is very rude and it's very mean. Okay? Okay. I will- Okay, um. Well, fuck. Do Ante Moody, not only did Loki show that Marvel Entertainment is going down the same black hole DC and Marvel comics have, but now despite for how many thought that DC will be different now since that bastard CEO has been replaced by a better one, DDO wasn't the problem beyond his inability to discern misery from drama. Sideways was a damn good comic book. Yeah, that was pretty, like, it, like, it was pretty good. I will believe that if it comes from you or Calico Biggs. However, I still don't understand why I'm not Starfire's allowed, allowed when it was universally hated just like New Warriors, but New Warriors was thrown into a pit to never return, but this now is out and about. Well, it was... Oh. New Warriors was Marvel, and Kibblesmith had no track record writing for comics, no matter how poorly, and it would be canon to the MU. I Am Not Starfire is a light novel which isn't canon to DCU and whose author isn't an outsider no matter how deplorable she is. Yeah, it's made by two different companies. Like, you gotta remember that. As much as 
I, New Warriors didn't go well with the fans. I am not Starfire is made by DC. New Warriors was made by Marvel. And since I'm sure Marvel was like, okay, well, we got plenty of other books. We'll just retire New Warriors and not talk about it ever again. And then I'm not Starfire is coming out. And so far, a lot of people are not enjoying it. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people who, who reviewed this book and will say positive shit about it because they're paid to do that. There's a lot of reviewers, reviewers out there who will kiss ass for this book. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I am done for the day when it comes to this shit. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope DC does improve, but I really doubt it with how they're handling the situation right now. It is very, very bad of how they took away the comments, how they're not going to listen to anybody. They know this book sucks, but they don't want to hear people repeating it. So how come it's that easy to do that, but they won't look online partic in particularly to actually read what people are saying and actually understand what they're saying and take, take it into a business handle and understand that they have to fix the problem with how they hire people. I'm not saying we should make sure nobody but white men should be hired. What I'm saying is that people should be hire base, hired based off of experience, qualifications, and understanding of the characters and material. That is what I'm saying. Okay? Okay. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was kind of like lengthy to go through all these um, different people saying what they like saying their opinions and such but it was pretty fun and i really hope you all have a nice and safe day and guys remember stay hydrated here's your reminder to water your pets and your plants two to three times a day and don't forget that anyways until next time guys this is dazzling kate signing the hell out of here